days after being criticized for cutting significant funding from rib crisis centers. The Ford government is in St. Catharines today making an announcement on how the province intends to fight human trafficking. People that are currently being trafficked often don't know the name of what it is that they're experiencing. Simone Bell, a human trafficking survivor, looks on as the provincial government pledges $202 million to fight what Premier Doug Ford says is one of the fastest growing crimes. The average age of recruitment is 13 years old. That's absolutely disgusting. Adding that two-thirds of the cases happen in Ontario, with the OPP saying it's one of the most horrific crimes they investigate. And we need to start asking ourselves, our neighbours, our friends, our colleagues, where is the demand coming from? The total contribution of $307 million over five years will address four key areas. Education awareness through the launch of a province-wide marketing campaign supporting survivors, creating specialized intervention teams, and the investment will also place extra emphasis on the perpetrators, who the province says are banking $55 million a year exploiting victims. And the province says it will be advocating for stricter bail conditions. Because all of a sudden, you see these guys back on the street in a couple days. Earlier this week, the government cancelled, then recommitted funding to Ontario's 42 rape crisis centres. Today, the NDP criticized the province, quote, we should be giving rape crisis centres the $14 million. How are you reacting to this announcement? So we're cautiously optimistic. Where we really noticed something that was, was really valuable and new was the prevention piece. Since the Canadian Centre to End Human Trafficking launched their hotline in May 2019, they're receiving about 250 calls a month saying the GTA is a hotspot for these crimes. In 2013, Toronto police handled 67 human trafficking cases and 14 victims. Five years later, there were 284 occurrences and 60 victims. More than half were under the age of 18. We believe the numbers are, are greater than that. The centre, though, was hoping the province would have spoken about what yeah, services would be offered to those experiencing labour trafficking. This is um, a growing crime. It's, it's a hidden crime, much like sex trafficking is. And Premier Ford said today he will be bringing up the issue of human trafficking with Prime Minister Justin Trudeau at the First Minister's meeting in Ottawa next week in St. Catharines. I'm Faisa Amin for City News.